Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, four more reviews to do for tonight, and then we'll just call it a day from there. Uh, but guys, we're taking a look at the new Hernandez card playing at center back, right? Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot tall, low high work rates, left footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. So obviously super, super defensive. Uh, player traits, he has the injury prone traits, in-game attributes. Uh, the card is going to be working with uh, 96 for acceleration and 96 for sprint speed. Obviously, we're going to switch in some chemistry styles here and there for us to get the full games out of the card there. But um, yeah, he's going to have 96, 96 to work with. Uh, base card stats for shooting non-existent on the card. For passing, the passing is kind of lowish, to be honest with you. But for a center back, honestly, it's not necessarily too big of a deal. There's just some moments where it would be nice to have, obviously. Uh, with Hernandez, guys... This card is a six foot tall player with a unique body type, right? So the unique body type uh, should be interesting to work with because as you guys know, his brother, Theo Hernandez, is a monster because of his body type, right? Very, very good defensive player because of that body type. So hopefully it's the same uh, with the Lucas Hernandez card. Uh, but in-game attributes for dribbling, it's going to be 70 for dribbling, but he does have 91 reactions, but has 81 for composure, but the reactions being high is really nice. Um, I do feel like the agility balance and stuff could affect movement a little bit, but guys, the thing about the center backs in this year's game, right, is that at the end of the day, the more physical oriented ones are usually the most ideal, right? Because most people play for the back formations. That's the default park the bus tactic in FIFA. You guys know how it works, right? So it's not necessarily a big deal. I just like to have the feeling of manual defending, right? So it's just it's just one of those things, right? Uh, with the shadow chemistry style, you are also going to be boosting his defense to essentially be perfect as well, right? It's one of those cards that, you know, when it gets upgraded, I guess like the hopes and the dreams is, uh, is that you can give him an anchor chemistry style, right? So that way he's good at doing all three of the things while getting a base card stats boost for the dribbling on the card. I feel like that's going to be the main thing here, uh, as well as the passing. Uh, because with this card on an anchor chemistry style, he looks pretty crazy because his defensive stats is already really, really up there. But it's the other stats uh, surrounding the card that will make him a really, really solid player. But yeah, for now, you'll be using the uh, shadow chemistry style. With physical stats, he's got 96 for aggression as well, which is obviously very, very helpful. 85 for strength, 84 for stamina, and then 94 for jumping. So generally speaking, the card looks pretty solid. Um, yeah, he looks really good. I would say that he's probably going to feel more physical oriented if anything. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how he performs in game, guys. We are going to be using uh, the three at the back formation as we normally do, playing him in the center back position right i feel like in the case of this team we could probably play him as a left center back as well and just put Kempembe through the middle um but for the sake of the review we want to get some defensive uh things out of the card it's more just going to be a matter of seeing what his regular tackle is like like slide tackles are not necessarily like a huge big deal guys uh it's mainly just being able to do the right challenges at the right time when in the right positions right so um yeah, we'll go ahead and see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. It's called Lucas, well positioned. Got the initial challenge afterwards, but I pushed it away from himself. No crazy interception there. Ball is kind of in his, in his vicinity. Yeah, I read that law pass. Just had to go back there. Nice. He actually wins that from behind. Well done, Lucas. Possession based. Well done, Lucas. I'll go back upwards here. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh, at least he was there to uh, clear the ball out. Understands the space well. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, you didn't get the initial ball there because we could have conceded from that. I'll take that at least. Not too bad. Good touch there. Nice. He actually uh, magnetizes to that too. Block let go of him there too to see if he would actually uh, do anything AI wise, and he actually did. Good stuff. Fernandez again in the air, get the tap off. Nice. I just gotta get the first ball there at all times. Good collect. Oh, he pushes it out, but I, I just wish he could put his body ahead of, ahead of him right here. Hernandez again from the corner. Touch, Legron switch. That's the one I'm looking for. That's the one I'm looking for. Brahim Diaz. In that situation, at least he goes for an animation. What I will say is that with Hernandez, it's definitely a card I would rather use in like a regular formation, like a four at the back. I'll take that. I'll take that. Give me that. We worked out, we worked it out, we worked it out. Ooh! Go Hernandez. See, a little bit on the sloppy side. He's very physical. Very, very physical, right? So, you know, when I'm using players like uh, Klaus in a three at the back, it's not as bad, but with Lucas, it's a card you gotta play in a four at the back for the most part. Not as agile, right? But very strong player. Which, to be fair, is usually the meta of FIFA. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Lucas Hernandez card. So, in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style to boost the pace as much as possible. Now, even though he does have the unique body type, he feels very, very physical-oriented. Which, again, is not necessarily a problem because these are the meta guys in this game, right? Now, I will say that even though I was using Hernandez in the team, this card is just a different breed, okay? Because I was using his rare gold card, and I don't know, man. This card just, he just does the craziest defensive stuff. Like, I don't know if it's his body type with the high and average six foot two height. I honestly couldn't tell you, right? But Kampembe was doing the craziest stuff as he usually does. Uh, even in a three at the back formation, which I don't recommend playing Kampembe in, because, you know, you need more pace, you need more players that feel more agile and stuff. Um, and... He's not even that type of guy, but he still did some crazy defensive stuff. But with Hernandez, guys, you know, being a player that gives you those French and Byron links, uh, he was enjoyable to use for the meta of the game, right? Like, like I said, guys, players that are this tall at six foot tall, unique body type on the shadow chemistry style, having 96 acceleration, 96 sprint speed is fantastic to work with. Now, when I talk about the agility of the cards, I'll give you guys a really good example, right? So this Delane card, for instance, is a left back, right? Uh, but as you guys know, in my team, when I play the three at the back formation, I actually use this card at left center back in a three at the back formation. Uh, but he already has the 80s for the dribbling stats, so I can use him in those areas. Uh, with Koza, I use him in my team currently, but I'd rather have someone like uh, Kunde if I could. Uh, but with Koza, you know, he's a shorter player, five foot ten with an average body type, so he'll feel very agile as well. But for the meta of the game, sometimes the lack of height and the lack of physical affects the card. There's a lot of moments where I'm using him where it affects the card, right? That's why when I compare center backs to each other, I only compare Koza's agility. But honestly, the player that I have to compare to more often is going to be the Kunde card, right? Because if you guys take a look at this Kunde card, the dribbling already being in the 80s, the pace already being at an 86, 86, and then you give him a shadow chemistry style, 
I think that this card is amazing, right? Uh, and for me personally, I would rather use this Kunde card over the Hernandez. But there's going to be moments where when you use the Hernandez card over the Kunde card, that physical presence is what's going to help you for certain um, dives animations, uh, certain tackle animations, because of the fact that he's a little bit taller and just more physical, right? Because he has the base card stats or uh, the physical stats, right? So it's just one of those types of situations where it's really going to depend on what type of center back you want to have in your team. For me, I always prefer to have the most agile ones because I actually want to feel like I'm actually defending. But if you're looking for a player that gives you uh, the links that you require in your team for you to be able to play with him in the meta of the game, this card is definitely going to be something really cool. But I do feel like he needs upgrades to really be incredible, right? Because this card right now, if he gets the necessary upgrades on an anchor chemistry style, like I was mentioning earlier, he's going to be a monster. Like he's going to be a monster because they're going to boost the base card stats for dribbling. They're going to give him those extra passing stats and his physical defense and pace is going to be near enough perfect to work with, right? So it's going to be very, very good stuff to work with for sure. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.